Hello everybody, I'm John Bender Waffles Aljets, and today I'm doing a commentary on my most recent speed development, which is the Pixel Castle Dungeon speed development thingy. You saw the title in the thumbnail, I assume you know which one it is. You should probably actually watch the original video before you watch this, the one that doesn't have me talking over it. Uh, there's a link in the card. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Uh, so this is yet another like 8-bit style map. Uh, I've, I've really been diving into the 8-bit style a lot over the last few months. Uh, and this is this is actually my first map with this particular tile set, which is the P, uh, PXL exclamation point pixel uh, tile set, which you can get on Steam. That's actually where I got it. I got it during the winter sale. Uh, I've been diving into these into the style of tile sets a lot recently because I've actually like. I've been working on a 8-bit style, you know, tile set myself, just something that I wanted to make for myself. Um, note that me mentioning that, it might not ever come out. It might release. I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, it And it might just be something that I don't really get to work on because, you know, time is at a premium given what I do for a living and everything like that. You know, I... I've got a lot of stuff going on, but anyways, uh, so I wanted to make something like really simple and I do a lot of forest paths, like a lot of forest paths. So I kind of figured, you know, it's time to do something a little bit different. I haven't done a dungeon in a while, so let's do, let's do a dungeon. Uh, and this tile set, it, it's a little bit of a challenge to work with just because of how simple everything is. The simplicity of it is both a blessing and a curse because it is so simple that like you can make pretty much anything with it and just say, yeah, this is what it's meant to be. Um, but at the same time, it's also like a little bit, there's not as much stuff there to play with. Uh, so you're very, very limited in it and you got to get creative. And admittedly, I don't think that I was as creative on this map as I would have liked to have been. A few people in the comments have actually pointed out that there are some spots where maybe I could put put cracks in the wall. Maybe I just could have put more stuff around and you're totally right. Uh, I definitely do feel like this was not my strongest map, but that being said, I love the tile set and getting time to like sit down and explore it was, was fun. And I feel like that more people should do this kind of thing. Cause like, I'm not working on a game project here. Like this isn't a map for anything that I'm releasing. Uh, but I'm just spending time practicing. I'm just making a map that is purely just for this video. And I think that more people should be, you know, willing to do that. More people should be willing to take some time to sit down and just make something, uh, just design a map, design a level, whatever it is. Even if you have no intention of ever releasing it, you would never have any intention of ever using it. Uh, cause you gotta, you gotta flex those muscles. You know, design is a skill. You can't just, you know, do it and expect it to be good. You need to practice and you need to sort of foster good habits. Uh, so, and you know, recognize that not everything you make is going to be the best thing in the world. This is me kind of playing with elevation here. Uh, again, I've always said, and I, I'll, I've said it before and I will say it again. Elevation just makes your map more interesting. So try to like, try to do, you know, more dynamic and more interesting stuff with it. So that was the whole map, but let's, uh, let's, let's take a moment here to actually like analyze what I did. Uh, so I call this a dungeon, but this isn't actually very dungeony, um, outside of a few storerooms, like stuff around here and things of that nature. It doesn't really feel like a dungeon and more feels like a keep area. There's also like a throne room esque sort of thing. And like, there's like a magic altar. So this is much more of like a, uh, like a, maybe first floor castle map. I don't know. Dungeon is just a more clickable keyword to be completely honest with you. Uh, this is one of those maps where I just, I went in, I didn't have any plans. I didn't have a vision in my head. I, you know, if you saw me at the very beginning, I was playing with different palettes, you know, different sort of bricks and walls and everything before I kind of, you know, decided upon what I was going to use. Uh, I had absolutely no plan going into this. It, I, I want you guys to not be afraid, you know, especially when you're practicing, uh, to not have any sort of objective, not really have any sort of idea and just dive in and play with it and see what you can make. Uh, the tools are there for you to create very interesting, very dynamic things. And you should just not be afraid to dive in and get silly with it. Just kind of start drawing lines, just start drawing shapes and then start honing it, start bringing it in and then, you know, create a finished piece by all means. But 
don't be afraid to, you know, make something that kind of doesn't make the most sense in the world or from a gameplay perspective, maybe wouldn't flow right. Um, you should always try to fix those problems as you see them, but know that like without a plan, sometimes you're not going to have all of the necessary tools in your toolbox to be able to actually make something workable. Uh, so while I'm not saying that this map was by any means like something that wouldn't function within a game, if I were actually making a game around, you know, this with this tile set and everything like that, I wouldn't feel bad about using this map. It flows, it works. Um, it just might not necessarily be the most memorable location that I've ever made. And that's perfectly fine. As I said, I feel like if you walk away from this commentary with anything, the one thing that I want you to walk away with is just take some time to practice the skills. Not everything that you're doing needs to be in service of a bigger project that you're trying to release. You know, if you're making maps in RPG Maker, not every single map that you make needs to be for that game that you're working on. You know, if you're making maps in Doom, that's something that I've been doing a lot more of. You guys have seen some videos of that. If you're making maps for Doom, not every single one of those maps needs to be for that mega wad that you're working on. You know, it could just be something that you're working on to work out those skills, something to like help you figure out ideas for something that you might use down the line. You know, when I was working with this tile set, I really, you know, I kind of just started doing these, you know, sort of doorway tile things like you see down here. I just did that. And now if I were to use this tile set in a game project, I would think to do that because I like the way that looks. Or for instance, uh, let me see if I can find it. This like magic room, this, this like magical altar room here. I really, really like the way that looks. If I were to make a game using this tile set, I would probably make that room exactly. Maybe make it a little bit bigger or whatever, but I would still probably make something that looks like that. And I figured out what that is by just, you know, sitting here and practicing. I spent some time and I made something that looks cool. You know, there are, there are dozens of maps that you guys don't see that I have made, you know, over the years, different amounts of times where I've just sat down and I've just made something to, to really just figure out those skills, to work on them, to hone the craft and to get myself to the point where I'm a, I'm a, I think I'm a fairly decent designer when it comes to a lot of these things, uh, not to float my own boat, but you know, and that all took practice that took practice that took time. You know, you can't be afraid, as I said, to make something that no one will see your, your best work will come about because you took the time to sit down and crank out garbage. It's true. It's, it's what is going to happen. So that's all that I really have to say about this commentary. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out videos every week. Uh, one video a week. I wasn't able to actually get this video in <laughs> within the week sort of buffer zone because I'm moving. I'm in the middle of moving. I'm moving about four hours away from where I'm living currently. Uh, so that process is taking up a lot of time, but I'm trying my best to put out a video a week. So, you know, stick around. There will be more coming. I've got a tutorial series coming. It's not the one that you guys all want. That one has been put on the back burner. That would be my essentials tutorial series. That's been put on the back burner for now. I'm working on another one uh, that's going to be, it, it, it's going to be Doom. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Doom maps. But uh, yeah, so just, you know, stick around, check out the cool stuff that's coming down the pipeline. Uh, we've, got, we've got RPG Maker Unite at some point in the future. Don't actually know when that due date is, uh, or when that release, not due date, release date is, uh, but you know, that's going to be in the future and I'm going to be doing videos on that. So whenever that comes about, so, you know, just sit back, enjoy, and, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Leave a comment telling me what sort of, uh, videos you'd like to see me do. If I'm doing one video a week for an entire year, that's 52 videos. That's a lot of videos. Uh, so any ideas you got would be greatly appreciated. Thanks guys. And, uh, have a good one.